Hi guys, here I'm again. So today I'm going to be unboxing, unboxing and setting up my Spear Halloween 2014 Broken Spine Girl. Now this is updated unboxing. I am going to be deleting my other video of her unboxing. This is my second one. Um, not my first one. I sold my first one. But, um, yeah, here it is. There's a box in great condition. It was brand new when I bought it for $50. No, it was actually $40. Um, but yeah, but I'm just gonna take her out and show you it. So, that's what you see when you open her brand new. Um, so just put it back exactly how it was before. Isn't there a waist bracket right here with this so that you can't see through the clothes because the clothes are a little bit see through? Then after that is her like whole entire head and stuff. Um Um there's her face. As you can see it looks definitely brand new. Um here's a hair net. But um I just walk at it. Um, can definitely tell it has, um, no discoloration on it, I don't think. Um, the last time I looked, it did have a piece. I'm actually going to look at it. I think it might have discolored a little bit. Her mouth seems very loose. That's not good. But I can replace those mechs. Or mech. Um, it did discolor a little bit here. Um, which is fine. I think, I think it'll be fine though. Um, here's the hair wig. And also her breastplate is in that. And like her um, gown that's in there. Okay. Here's one foot and then the other foot. Her feet are very cool. Just plastic. Hard plastic. But they will break. Um and then do scratch. Here's the pole with the hooks on it. Um, the hooks do break a lot. Luckily, I haven't broken any of them. I hope I don't. Here are the poles. That's only two. Here's some twist ties. Um, The second toast is the module of this nice box. And it also does have the instructions. Um, here's a spear gear for it. Uh, just put in there the instructions. I am so surprised it has the instructions for $40. And that's the adapter right here. And then the mech. Um, this does have damage there. Because the second they bend backwards, it always creases there. Um, pretty much every single one that I've seen did that. Um, here's this cover here. Um, my other one didn't have that. But I put a custom one on it. They're not that hard to make. But her mic is in great condition. Her wire is sticking out here. But 
all the plastic that's where her board is. Um, her volume control should work, but um, I hope it does. That's the module. Um, I'm just gonna put the instructions in here because I don't need those. I don't even know how to set this up. But yeah, let's begin the stuff. First, you wanna take your base and then take one of the extending holes, match A up to A, oh my god, and then click them in. They will slide in, and then you hear a click when they're fully inserted. Um, also, this product is um, extremely rare. Um, but she does break a lot, um, which is a sad thing about it. Um, also, if you do have her in the snap box break at the bottom here, it really doesn't matter, or at the top, they still hold in because they're tight connection. So don't worry about it like bending backwards and it's gonna fall apart when it bends backwards because that doesn't happen. But after that, you can extend the poles. So you don't just come out like this, but once everything's together, it's actually like super hard and you won't be able to get a punch in. Um, I do recommend holding the bottom of the pole, which I'm not doing here, um, because it should be. Um, but yeah, um, sorry if there's any background noise. Um, but yeah, so you just extend these poles till it just pops out, but it is fine. Um, this one's hard to extend really hard. Um, and then you can just click it back in or slide it back in. And then after that, um, you take her feet and you just slide them over. Um, yeah, again, sorry if there's any background noise, but they just, um, slide right over there. Um, her face is very noticeable. I think they could have made her with a metal base and just I feel this was made by SCI. Probably would have been two poles here and then or Crazy Crate could have done this, but I guess they really didn't do anything for Techie. Or no, not Techie. Spirit back then really because it was 2014. They really weren't producing stuff. And Okay, this module is very hard to connect. Um, I do have a lot of trouble with it. So if you do buy her and you can't um, put the module on, just try to put all the poles together before you actually um, lock it in and you can. Just push down the pole, lift it back up, and then click it in. Are very hard to get out. Um, you kind of have to break the snap box in order to get them out. Um, but then again, the snap box don't really matter. <clears throat> they just have to hold it in a little bit. And you can probably just do like screws. These are all holes with screws. And put them in um, so that it'll hold really tight. Um, I just broke the adapter. Well, I guess I'll have to get a new one. Um, that was super duper unexpected. It literally just fell apart. Look at it. There's the whole board. It just randomly fell apart. Will they be able to put back together? I think it'll still work. Um, try to line it up there, um, and then just clip it together. I won't be surprised if it doesn't work, because it completely just fell apart. I'm going to try gluing it, maybe. 
or I can melt the plastic together in the back here. Um, so that won't ever come apart. It did just fall apart though. Hopefully that doesn't happen here on Broken Girls Adapter. Um, I'm not exactly sure how it just did that. Um, shouldn't do that though. Um, it might not work. But it'll be fine. So then you put her waist on, which does come where the battery pack is. I don't really recommend using batteries on her, too much power. Um, and yeah. Now here's her body, and you have to take this um, breastplate here and unravel those. But, yeah, you just unravel her clothes, um, and then you put pull in here. Now, this is a very, very hard step. Um, you just want to make sure you don't put it in backwards. Um, I did do that, but you can also make it bend forward. <laughs> it just looks super funny, and it'll probably break the neck if you... But if you hook it up. So, see, look. It's, like, very hard. And if you get it in, if you don't hear a click, you um, but you probably shouldn't use it. But um, what I figure is you can just push in the tabs here on the sides and then slide it in. Then it will clip in. Um, kind of like. The reason why this is super hard to get in is because this needs to be a very firm connection and there's a bunch of divots that are supposed to line up. Um, that's exactly why it's super hard to push in. Um, so yeah, this is super duper hard to push in. I said that three times now. But um, it's just like there's a bunch of pieces and this is supposed to hold in the whole entire body and you know Techie and their crappy snap locks. Um, so it's going to be hard to push in if it's not all the way in here like that. If it's poking out like that then it's not all the way in. You kind of have to give it a good push into there. The first time I got her, it was like super hard to put in. And it was also rusted because I got a bad broken girl. Um, they didn't really take care of it. Um, her head is loose. Please, that doesn't need to be replaced. Um, but I don't think it will because it's brand new. Or practically brand new. Um, not brand new in the box. Um, but, yeah. here's her breastplate and then the Velcro here. Just Velcros onto some Velcro in her chest. And, let me find it. This, this stuff is kind of hard to do. And, when you're doing this, just pull out the wires. So that it'll be all ready once you put it, put the body on. See, look, this pole bends. I'm holding it straight. And then that's exactly what the hooks are for. Because they like the piece bends back and it pushes on these hooks here, which then connects to a joint that'll push onto. Another piece. Um, okay, just pull the right on um, here. Make sure these hooks are completely safe. Like hold them when you attach them to her body. Because this is a very sketchy connection.
because if the hooks are in the way, they're going to get busted. Um, Again, this is another very hard connection. Um, I guess they all kind of are. Um, make sure this is the front of the neck. I made the mistake of putting um, the legs on backwards. That's why I wasn't going in. Um, I guess I'll have to take these off at the bottom. I gotta rise it back up too. Locate these two wires here. Sorry, you can't see it, but um, plug them in like that. Just like that. Adjust the volume how you want it. Also, I um, almost forgot to do the hooks. Um, push in the hooks on the side. This is a very likely will break it if you try to just pull them out because it's not really supposed to be taken out and put back in. So you will locate this fabric piece here coming from the neck or head. And then um, just put it around the waist loop or hip loop, whatever you want to call it. And then velcro it on so that you just put it under, and then there's velcro on the other side. You spread it out um, once you got it on. Just like that. And then you can just pull down your dress completely. Okay, now this point, all you need to do is pose your arms. I pose mine in a very specific way. So if um, it aims forward a little bit, um, so it's like the L shape. It's like right here, a little bit, and it helps it get up a lot easier. Um, I'm just gonna take her hair net off. Ready to plug her in. Now I'm gonna be right back. I just have to get an extension cord.
There we go. Definitely recommend that you would buy it if you can get your hands on one. I know it's really dark. That's it. Bye, guys.